Good morning, YouTube. This is the beginning of our bodywork episode three. Yes, on the 79F100. I forgot where we at for there for a moment. Uh, I'm going to recap where I'm at on this one fender this morning. It. Um, I'm not sure where I let, left off with the video as far as um, what I showed, but. Um, at the same time, uh, there may be others here who are watching this for the first time. Uh, this is the fender I'm going to focus on today. I have another fender. It needs a little uh, more work. Hopefully, my glazing body will come in this uh, early this afternoon and I can work on it. Uh, so, I'm going to pause the video so I can turn around the camera. Give me one second. Okay, we're back. <laughs> it is... The light is messing with my video here a little bit. It is 9 o'clock a.m. on September 7th, 2017. Uh, the timestamp is mostly for me later in the future. Later on in the future, if I want to see what's when I did these things. Anyway, back to more interesting, I hope, topics. Here's a review of where I'm at on my biggest spot of filler on this fender. Uh, we have a low spot here. That's been discussed before. My filled right out a little bit, creating a low spot there, a little low there, it looks like. Anywhere where it's darker is a low spot. Uh, if someone's not familiar with that, you when you sand your filler, it usually turns a lighter color, at least changes colors. The it's a good substitute for a guide coat that we'll use later for blocks and it kinda gives you an idea where you're at. As long as you don't try to override that. Uh, I treated this fender with the fast etch from Eastwood Company. It leaves a code, coating for rust protection on there. In the prior video I said I was hoping to get these epoxy last time I worked. I did not do that as you can see. And where I've sanded different spots, my phosphorus coating that my Fast Edge provided has come off and you see how it's flash rusted here in the last, it's been about 10 days, so. But today we're hoping to get this fender finished up. Now here's my major low spot so you can see the ridge there i did not even realize that there was dented down right there when i started so we need to cut that out and hopefully this next coat will take care of it if not maybe one more skim coat like i said with a glazing putty that hopefully will be coming today because there is just the lay, just a little bit of a low spot on this fender as well. We've got mild on the truck to get it out of the way temporarily. So I'll hopefully get that finished today. And also we'll get an epoxy. If I'm really lucky, maybe I can get epoxy on this afternoon before I have to stop. Uh, weather's a little cool today. I don't know how that will affect me as far as spraying the epoxy. But we'll see how it goes. And... Uh, Keep watching now, and we'll show you some actual work here in a little bit. Thanks. All right, I didn't film coating these spots. You've seen, seen it done a thousand times in other videos. I touched it there to see if it was curing, and that was a mistake. I <laughs> made a little fingerprint. That, and then we I just skimmed over this whole thing. But anyway, there's another coat. I'm hoping it will take care of it. need a lot of shaping. A little sandpaper there, but... That's where we're at. Uh, as soon as this cures, I'll sand it. Okay, here we are after sanding. Looks pretty good down there, which is still a little bit low right there. And you could use some feathering out. Down there's a little, I don't know if it's sure or not, but we're gonna skim it out just the same. This here looks pretty good. There's a little pinhole there. That's still a little rough there. I like to more skimming out. And right there needs a little skimming. Good news is, while I was, not while I was waiting, but it's because I mixed way too much filler. I skimmed this part of my other fender. I'm gonna go with that. And that's the spots of the cab. I hadn't started yet. So we co skim, we scoated them out. 
Doesn't need more work. As you can see, the dark spot there, it needs a lot more work. But anyway, that's where we're at right now. We're going to skim that out again with our Evercoat, I reckon. Uh, since the brown, big brown truck hasn't come yet today, and I don't want to sit around and wait. So, we'll talk at you later. What is that for, you might ask? That was my tool I used to right here to control a little bit of filler. Zoomed in, it looks like a lot. But we just had a little pinhole, didn't need a full spatula work, so that's what that is. In case I was unclear, that was simply a little cheap razor blade scraper. Well, we've got a coat on, wait for it to dry. Alright, here's our finished fenders. I meant to take a video of me doing the final step, which was to uh, use my fast etch to remove that surface rust that you may have seen earlier in the video. But since I was just kind of got excited and went ahead and did it, here is our final product. This was the one spot that probably is going to be the most noticeable if we go back in the video and look. But anyway, looks like this is smooth. We're going to do a little abation, abating of the bare metal. Well, not the bare metal, but the edges of the fenders here and get ready for a, an epoxy coat. Uh, we may or we may even get that done today. We'll see how things go. Okay, um, here's the story. I was trying to set up my area for painting. Um, so you can see behind me, I have no kind. I'm not really. I've got a paint booth going on here. But what I'm going to do, I think, is hang some tarps to build me a little. Booth, mostly to support to protect what else is in the barn not just then to protect my paint uh, and I had issues with a paint gun about Harbor Freight to put on the high bill primer I was trying to buy something cheap to use it one time that didn't work out so well for me so this looks like it'll be the end of the video for today I may do a little video uh, shopping this evening I'm gonna try to get my stuff but probably not this will probably be my sign off so if you're enjoying these videos, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to keep seeing my perils and <laughs> adventures in uh, bodywork, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Have a great day. Thanks.